my channel. I hope you are having a fantabulous day today. Regardless of whether it be morning, noon, or night, I hope you're having a fabulous, razzmatazz day today. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe, and this is Gabe Loves Makeup. You know, pull up a chair, grab a glass of wine, a cup of coffee, you know, a beverage, you know, maybe a snack even, because, you know, we are rounding out our 2021 series. We're getting closer to the end, and today we will be going over brows, eyeliners, and we're going to be going over mascaras. So, if you're interested in that, then definitely stick around, and let's find out together. Or if you are new and you don't if you don't know my channel very well, I didn't have anything last year when I first started. I had nothing. I had no eyeliners. I had no mascaras. I had no brow products. I had no lips. I had no liners. I had no and lip liners. I had nothing. I had no concealers. I barely. I had some foundations. Um, I didn't have all this stuff. So I have accumulated a lot within the last year or so. So a lot of my collection has really, really grown. I mean, I've got some brow products here that I want to kind of discuss first. So, let's go over um, my first one that kind of started out the year with, and I still really like it. This is the Boy de Chanel Eyebrow Pencil, um, and it's a, it's the, supposed to be the boy line or the men line in Chanel or whatever, but it's still, it's a pencil. They market it towards men, but basically women can use it too, you know, but it is a really good brow pencil. It's really good, and you know, of course, it's got the slant at the end. It comes up like this. I have this in the shade gray. Um, when I first started the channel, I, I was doing a little bit more gray because my hair is gray. This is natural. Um, I don't color it and I don't do anything to it. This is just natural. So I thought maybe the gray color would be better. I've kind of switched over backwards and forwards between ash blonde and blonde. I've been playing with brow products to see because you know, as you can tell, I don't have any. Um, I don't have any on today, but um, I really do um, enjoy a brow once in a while. It's especially if I'm doing a full glam out look. I really like one, but I do also like not um, doing them too much because they do look, make me look a little bit harder. Um, but I do love a good brow, and this is a really good brow pencil. It stays on really well. Um, it, it leaves a beautiful, natural look to the brow. So, if you're a guy and you are looking for a good brow, it is a nice brow pencil. Um, you know, of course, it's easy to put on. It's not too hard. You have the little comb in it. You can just brush it, put it on, especially if you have already great brows. I mean, if you don't have good brows, it still does a really good job. You just have to make sure you get the right color. I think it's got maybe four colors in this collection. But Chanel has a variety of brows, so if you're definitely interested in some of their brow products are really good. I just went with this one because it was the only gray. They didn't have the gray in the, you know, the normal brow line. Um, but it is a really good brow pencil and I've really enjoyed it. We'll talk about these two together because they came in collection together. These are the Charlotte Tilbury brow products. I love these. These are great. This is the taupe. Both of these are taupe. I think both of them are taupe. Yeah, but brow, one is brow chi and one is called brow lift. Now, the brow chi is more of a very fine, small pencil and it goes on very, 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 very fine. And um, it's not, you, you go in and kind of literally just kind of add it into little hairs if you want to do that. If you want something that's not so um, smooth or too waxy, it's a very stiff, more of a stiff um, brow. And you can get it, it's not too um, emollient. It, it's like a really nice wisp if you just want to go in and paint sparse little hairs in the brow. Of course, it has a little comb on the end. Um, and this is really good. And they, and they come in refills too. So you can refill these and you can also refill these as well. So these are also refillable. So if you want to buy the pencil, you don't have to buy the whole pencil again. You can just get the refill. Um, this one is a little bit similar to the Chanel. It's got a little bit more, um, a little bit more wax to it. You still have to kind of work with it. It's still not greasy or slidey. The Chanel is a little bit more emollient where this one is not. This one's a little, you got to work with it a little bit more. Um, I always try to make sure I have enough powder on my brow or that I'm not too emollient right there because of my brows will slide everywhere. Um, but it is a really good brow pencil. This is a good color. You have to build it up though. I mean, because it is a taupe. Um, I'm thinking about maybe one of these days, maybe trying to maybe a little bit shade darker in her brow. But um, I've, I've done been through two of these already and I absolutely love it. It is a great brow pencil. Um, it's probably one of my top ones of the year. I enjoy these. They are really great. Um, so if you were interested in Charlotte Tilbury brows and you've never tried it out, I also have the brow groomer. I have it. I have the brow gel. I just never use those because I don't have enough brow to do that with. Um, so it doesn't do anything. 
anything for my brows whenever I use it. But I mean, but it is a really good, they are really good. And I got it like in a little kit when it first came out and then I, I added to it. But I um, mean, it is a really nice brow. So if you're looking for a good brow, these are good. One that I just recently discovered, this is the Kevin O'Quan. It's the Precision Brow Pencil. And then this is in the shade Brunette. This is a very, very super fine pencil. So if you really like this one, and I'm going to mention the other one too, is the Huda Bombshell Brow. I think that's the name of it. Bombshell, um, Bombshell Brow. And this is the Neutral, um, Neutral Blonde Number 2. They're very a little similar um, because they're very fine pointed. Um, it's like they're, they just give you the precise little hairs with the brows. They're just very, you can see they're very similar like. The only thing I will say with Huda is you go through it like really crazy. I wasn't going to buy this because when I first got it, I loved it. Fell in love with it, loved it. I ran out of it like after two times. And I was like, are you kidding me? I ran out of this after two times. Are you kidding me? I was like, oh my God, I was so mad. Um, because I really enjoyed it. And I was like, well, I can't keep buying pencils like that because they do that. So if you want one that's going to last a little bit longer, try the Kevin Oak one. It's really good. They're probably, they're both about the same price point, but they are really good brow pencils. So if you're looking for a good brow pencil, but you want a very precise in hair, making detailed hairs out of it, and you like a very, very fine point, and one that's a little bit more stiffer, um, and you have to, you know, it's not one of those you can just put on real quick, you have to kind of work it in a little bit, because it is more of that kind of a pencil where you can't, it's not super waxy or anything that you can move it around, you have to actually build the brow with, but they are both really incredible brow pencils, I mean, the hoodie is just, you just go through it so, through so much, but it is a damn good brow pencil, it is so good, I just hate that it's like, it just, it does that. That's one of the reasons why it's probably not at my top. This is just a great brow pencil though, but it's just, if you have a choice though, try the Kevin O'Quan. You might actually like it. And there's about four or five shades in his brand in this one. The brunette just seems to be more kind of like a taupey, taupey brown kind of color. Um, so I just enjoy it the most so far, but it is a really good brow pencil too. And last but not least in the brow category, and this is my top one, and this is one that won't break the bank either. So I'm just going to tell you that right away, this is my favorite one. Ever since I bought it, I've been about two or three after it because I went through so many of them, and this is the Jason Wu Groomed by Mr. Wu Brow, and I have it in the medium shade. There's a light shade, a medium shade, and a dark shade. This little bad boy, again, is a very fun point as you can see. I love this. Love the color. The color is perfect. When I don't feel like the Charlotte Tilbury or something else is giving me enough, I will take this and fill it back in with a little bit more of this one to give me what I want to make it just a little bit, because it's a little bit darker, but it's not too dark, but it's the perfect blonde dark blonde shade. It's so perfect. It's great for gray hair. It's really awesome. And it's only $13. I think it's like $13 or $12. It's so inexpensive. You get it at Target because he's exclusive only at Target. But this is like so, so, so good. I wear this all the time. If you're looking for a really good brow pencil, but you don't want to go and spend for Chanel and Charlotte Tilbury, you don't have to do that. Go to Target, pick up one of these. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And you might even be really surprised because it is a super good brow. So now we are ready to discuss eyeliners. And I've got some really good ones. So I have liquids and I also have pencils. So let's go over the... Um, Let's go over the two, the three liquids that I've really enjoyed first, and then we will go into the re in the regular eyeliners. So my first one, um, and I bought like a lot of different liquid liners, and I've got some really good ones that I did not put in this list, but they are really good. It's not that they're bad. I just really reach for these the most. So my first one is the Huda Beauty. This is the um, liquid liner. It's the um. Precision Liquid Liner. This brush, if you are so, if you're not really good at liquid, which I'm, I'm really good. I'm better on clients than I am on myself. I mean, because I've been a makeup artist for 25 years or more, and um, I'm really much better on clients than I am on myself. But um, I'm getting there. I've done a liquid today, and um, you know, actually, it's the next one that I'm going to show you. But it is a, a beautiful. I'm getting a little bit better at it. But this is such a beautiful, precise brush. It gives you the perfect little strokes, 
and it leaves the most beautiful finish. It leaves a beautiful, soft, matte finish. It dries down really quickly. Um, you can just, you can build your line slowly. You can just do it very slowly. It's not like the brush is super big where it'll make a mess. Um, it doesn't dry, I mean, it's not too, where it dries too quick or it doesn't dry fast enough. I mean, it is just a really good liquid liner. So if you're looking for a really good, easy liquid liner, this one is a is a must have. Um, another really easy liquid one, and the one that I have on now is the, this is the, um, this, the Hendish liquid liner, and I forgot what the name of it, because it doesn't have it on here, but I forgot the name of the liquid. I can't remember it, but it's, it's the Hendish liner. It's the only one he has. This bad boy is great. Now, this came a little bit later in the game. I think it came in around October is when it came out. This brush is so amazing. It's so good, so precise just precise, beautiful line, and it is, it goes on like it's going to look glossy, but it dries matte. It's so precise. You get the best, beautiful line with this. So crisp, so clean. Um, it dries really quickly, so you don't have to worry about it making too much of a mess. Now, if you've never seen Hendish, by the way, I just got to tell you, you got, if you're, if you're on Instagram, you got to go check him out. I mean, or see him in one of his videos, because he has YouTube video. Oh my God. The man is amazing with liquid. Like, he just done here and up here. I mean, he is a pure artist. Like, I mean, a man can draw a liquid liner like there's no more, and he does it like it's no tomorrow. Like, he just does it so simple and so easy. Um, but with this, it, I can see why. If he, uh, this is just a beautiful liquid liner. So, if you're looking for a really good liner, and not only that, but when you order from his site, it is amazing. It's quick, it's fast. I mean, no problems whatsoever. I've really been curious about his palette, but I think he's getting ready to come out with something else again soon, and I think it's going to be more of a shimmer version of that palette. Um, so, I don't know, maybe in the future, but I really do like the palette too, but I can't wait to see what else he's going to come out with this because this is amazing. It's a really good liquid liner. Then one, if you don't want to break the bank, um, I'm, is a... a, a Tried and true, you can't go wrong with it. It's the Maybelline Lasted uh, Lasting Drama Gel Liner. I have this in a brown and I have this in a black. This is the black. It's just a creamy, beautiful liner and it comes with the best brush. The brush is so great. Um, and it comes with it. It just is so pointed. It's really, really stiff. You get the best line with it. It dries great. It's waterproof. It will not come off. It stays on really great. By the way, the Hendish and the Huda stays on really, really well too. So they don't come off either very easily. It takes you to kind of get it off a little bit more with a makeup remover. Um, but it is, this is just amazing. And you can use this underneath. You can use this on the top. You can use this as a base for, I mean, if you want a really smoky eye. This is just a really good gel liner and again if you don't want to break the bank i think they're like eight nine dollars at the drugstore or if you want to go to target or walmart you could probably even get it any cheaper but it's just a beautiful liquid liner into our pencil liners and since we're at maybelline i'm going to go ahead and talk about this one this is the maybelline lasting drama and it's in the waterproof gel pencil this is really amazing now i want to remind everybody that maybelline is owned by l'oreal and L'Oreal owns Urban Decay, they own Lancome, you know, they buy YSL, they own Armani, they own a lot of uh, Valentino, they own a lot of brands, okay? So, just to give you guys an idea, so this is, um, this is very similar to the Urban Decay ones, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, because it's actually, it's in my top, spoiler alert, it's in my top. Um, but this is a really good dupe for the Urban Decay. Now, they don't have the colors in the Maybelline that they have in the Urban Decay, but if you get a basic black or brown for tight lining or up underneath, especially your waterline, these bad boys are great. Waterproof, stays on amazing, it gives you a beautiful, this one, the black is black. So they have a really black, black. They have a couple different colors in this one, but not, they're really basic colors, but it's a really good pencil. So if you're looking for one not to break the bank, it's not a very long pencil. It only comes in, they're shorter, but you don't need much of them because they're extremely pigmented. So they're really awesome. But again, if you don't want to break the bank, this is a really good one to go with. Um, and then with that said, we might as well just go into the next one. And that is the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencils. Um, this one is just in Viper. I have these in probably like maybe six or seven shades of these and different colors. 
um, they are really good. So if you're looking for some really good, beautiful colored liners, or if you want a basic brown or black, which they have gray, you know, those two, these are great waterproof liners. They stay on really good in the water line. They don't, they don't transfer. Um, as long as your eye is not watering when you put it on, or if it's not too dewy, um, and it's, it's more, it's, it's pretty dried down and you let it dry, it will stay on really well. You can also set it with a powder that makes it work even better. Better. But these are great, and all of the shades are really beautiful. I have them, like I said, in about seven shades or so. But these are really nice, and they do last a long time, and they, they are really good, which is the Pat McGrath. And this is the Black Coffee. I have this on now. I used it as a top line earlier before I did my liquid liner. Um, this is a really good liner. I love this color. It's not her typical black, but it's a brown and it's a black together. If you see it, if you can see it right there, it's it's a very pretty brown, smoky brown, but on the black side, great color. The only bad thing is much of the time, they're out of it all the time. They're out of it. Sephora is always out of it. It's really hard to get. But if you can find this and you're in Sephora and you're looking for really good pencil that stays on really good, and if you want a Pat McGrath line or you want to try one out, try the Black Coffee. Um, instead of doing maybe a black or something a little bit harsher, this is a nice in-between brown and black, but it gives you the depth, but yet it's really beautiful. They're creamy. They glide on really well, but once they dry, they stay on really nicely. It almost has like a powder, cream to powder feel to her pencils, but they're really great. Her lip liner pencils are good too, but these are really awesome, so I would definitely check this one out. Um, one, another one at the drugstore is the Flower Beauty, and this one, I have this one, is this is Forever Wear. This one is in the shade um, Emerald, I believe. This is the green one. This Last time I looked, it was out of stock, so maybe she got it back in stock again. These guys are so freaking good, and they're like $10, I think. They're like $10, $7, $8. They are so good. She's got these in like a plum. There's a brown. There's a gray. There's a white. I think there's like a, there's a couple different shades in this. If you guys are looking for a really good long wear pencil and you want it to not break the bank, um, she, she's in Walmart now. She's in CVS now. You can get on um, uh, Flower Beauty. Flower is just a great little company that just nobody talked about enough about. It is just a really good, her lipsticks are great. Her lip liners are good. Her eyeshadow palettes are really pretty. Her concealers are nice. I mean, she's got a really beautiful line. So if you want something that is a really good liner, but you're looking for a good drugstore liner, um, either this one or the Maybelline, either one, but you want maybe a little bit more color in it. These are just different from the Maybelline. The Maybelline is a little bit more... Um, they dry down to a really nice matte finish. Um, these do too, but it's just something about them are just a little bit more creamier. They're a little bit more luxury, I guess I could say. They're a little bit more luxurious feeling. They feel like you bought them in a department store, but really they're not. But, but it kind of feels like you did. But these are just really good. You would really enjoy these. And I love this color emerald. It's just the most pretty hunter green color. It is just really beautiful. But she got some really beautiful shades. So definitely check this one out. And then last but not least, of course, we can't leave without talking about Miss Charlotte Tillabarrier. I love Charlotte Tillabarrier. She's so fabulous. <laughs> so anyway, these are my favorite pencils by her. And I've got some other pencils by her, Barbarilla Brown, which I love. Um, but these I've really fell in love with. And again, I discovered these this year. And these are her duo shades right here. I have this one. Is, they're both they're called the Magic Duo is what I think they're called. Magic Duos. And this one was the one she came out with in the nude with the white on the end. And then there's the smoky brown on the other end. This one is the copper with more of a metallic on the other end. And then more of the matte on this end. And then this one is the plum. And then it has the copper on this end. And then it has the matte on the other end. These bitches, let me tell you, these bitches will not come off. When they dry, they stay. <laughs> <laughs> they will come off. <laughs> like, sometimes I'll have them in the back of my head and they will never come off. They stay on so well, especially the matte side. The matte side stays so well. The metallic sides are so beautiful. They're so nice and they're great. So I'm so glad I've got this copper. I love this copper shade. Love the plum. This one I've been using nonstop. I have this one in my waterline right now. I love it. It is just, they're so good pencils, guys. So if you want to, 
spend a little bit more money on a lighter and you want something. And now, I would invest in these if you don't like a metallic and a matte. If you don't really want a metallic, but you just want more of the matte, then I would go with her regular, like the Barbarella Brown, which is an amazing shade. Um, there's another one in her cold pencils that I love, too. I can't remember the name right off the top of my head, but it is really beautiful. It's like this really beautiful black brown that's really pretty, too. Um, they stay on really well, too, so they're really awesome as well. These just are just, to me, are just magic. Just like they say, she named it absolutely perfect. I love these bad boys. They're like my favorite eyeliner pencils out of all of these. I do you really want a, you want to spend a little bit more money on a pencil and you want to try out some Charlotte Tilbury pencils, definitely check out one of these for sure. Especially this one from the Super Nude. It's like a black brown. Oh my God, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful pencil. Now we are down to mascaras. So I've got some really beautiful mascaras that I found this year. It's really amazing ones. Um, let's start with, we'll start from the drugstore up and then we'll go for it. So I have a few from the drugstore that I really like. I really love the Air, the Air Volume by L'Oreal. I really love the, um, it's the other one. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the Feather Lash or something like that. Or I can't remember the name of it, but it's, it's, a, there's another one in L'Oreal that I really like. So there's a few in L'Oreal that I do enjoy, but you know, but again, this is a Maybelline mascara. So it's all by L'Oreal. So it's very similar, but I've then been through three of these. <laughs> And I bought this on a, because TikTok went oh nuts over it or whatever. And this is the Sky High Volume Mascara by, uh, by Maybelline. It is so freaking good. I love this mascara. Love the wand. It's a rubber, kind of a rubbery wand, but it's very, it stretches the lash out, makes them really long, really pretty. It's not a thickening mascara. So if you like a thickening too, you're not going to like it. It's more of a lengthening mascara. So if you want that kind of a lengthened look, um, there's another one in this list that's a little bit, it's another L'Oreal company, but it's a little bit more bougie. Um, there's actually one or two L'Oreal companies in here, but, um, this one is similar to it. It's a little bit like this one, but it's a little different, but it's a little bit more on steroids, like with the length, but it's really super beautiful. It will not come off. Let me tell you, and I don't even have the waterproof. This is the original and it will not come off. It just, even with the, the only thing I hate about it is getting it off. Because it, even a regular eye makeup remover is hard to get it off because it stays on really well. And this is even the waterproof. If you get the waterproof, I can only imagine. It sticks around for a long, long time. But let me tell you, it gives a beautiful, beautiful lash. Now, if you're looking for a really good long wearing mascara, lengthening, all day wear, definitely check this one out. And it won't break the bank because, again, you can get it for like nine, ten bucks. It's really super awesome. I would definitely check it out. I've only got the many of it, but I'm really impressed with it, and that was this, and it was a little bit later in the season, so it actually came out like in October or September, and that is the Rare Beauty Mascara. This mascara is so good, guys. Such beautiful volume, such soft, beautiful lengthening lashes. Um, it stays on really well all day. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. It's just a really beautiful mascara. So, if you want something natural, but you want something that's going to give you a little bit of everything, thing. This is a really super awesome mascara to try out. And again, this is the travel size. So you can try the travel if you don't want to try the, um, you know, the full size. You know, some of these do come in travel sizes. So definitely check out a travel size instead of getting it or maybe see if they've got a sample. But this is just a beautiful mascara. I definitely would recommend this one if you want a very pretty, natural, soft lash. Especially if you're, if you're someone that's concerned about the environment because, you know, it's cruelty free as well. I would definitely check this one out. Um, another cruelty-free brand that I absolutely love. And again, I bought this mascara when it first came out in January of last year. Um, and this is the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara. So beautiful. It's such a good mascara. So, it looks, this is a little teeny, teeny, tiny brush. But this little brush, let me tell you, underneath, absolutely stunning. Most beautiful underneath lashes you can get. On the top, the most beautiful feathered, volumized, natural mascara. It's it's even it's more natural than any of the other mascaras that I have here. This is definitely the most natural, it, but it is just so beautiful. Again, cruelty free, 
vegan free. I mean, if you're looking for a really good mascara, I think it's around the $30 range. It's just beautiful. It's weighted. The packaging, of course, is Victoria Beckham. It's gorgeous. But I definitely recommend this mascara. It does, it does not, it comes off with just regular soap and water. Um, makeup is not hard to remove whatsoever. It's very easy, but it won't clump. It won't flake. It won't run. It's just a really beautiful mascara. And if you want really beautiful underneath lashes, then you like a small brush, you would really enjoy this. Like some people like a, you know, full volume on the top and then something on the bottom. You would love this because I do this on my bottom lashes all the time. It is a really, really good mascara um, to add in addition to another mascara if you have it. It's really great. Um, another really good one, and this is the other one I'm talking about that's from a L'Oreal company that reminds me a little bit of the Sky High, and then it reminds me another one of the L'Oreal ones, and this is the Lashy Doll by Lancome. This is such a beautiful mascara. You do not need to curl your lashes with this mascara. It immediately curls them for you. Um, I've tried curling it with this mascara. If you if I curl them, they want to fall. Definitely don't need to use a lash curler. The brush is really amazing. It's got one side to fit up against the lashes to build some a little volume and then on the other side you flip it around to build the length um about one coat one to two coats after that you can still try to build it but it doesn't build very well it's definitely one that once you put it on it's a, like a one and done so if you like that and that's the kind of a mascara you're looking for then this is great um if you're looking for something more on that lengthening side you would really enjoy it it gives a little volume it's not extremely volumatic but if you use the long comp Finisils mascara, you would really like this mascara because this one is the lot. This is the Finisils on steroids, so it's a little bit more amped up than the original the Finisils. Or if you use the L'Oreal Voluminous, you may really like this as well because it definitely gives that really pretty lint. It's just the Finisils and Voluminous, you can really build and build and build. This one, you can't build as much. Like once you put it on, it's like it's a, again, it's a one and done. You might be able to build it up maybe a little bit more, but that's about it. You can't get much more out of it. Um, so now we are down to our last four. So this one is a current one that I just found in December. And this was almost total fluke and I got it as a free gift. And that is the Lorac Luxe Mascara. A first class lash mascara. This mascara blew me the freaking away. I was like, you see my Lorac video with the Lorac Pro, the Fairy Tale Forest palette. This mascara, oh my God. It just, look, look at the one. Okay, so the one looks very simple. Nothing to it, right? When I put it on, I was like, oh my God. It made my lashes look so thick and so pretty and so long. Didn't smudge, didn't flake, stays on really well during the day. Absolutely gorgeous mascara. And I think it's still around the 20 some dollar range. You can only get it, um, I don't even think they have it even on Ulta. I think you have to go on the Lorac site to get it. But it is such a beautiful mascara. And they give it to me as a free gift and I fell in love with it. So if they discontinue it, I'm going to be... <laughs> Because now I'm really in love with it. I really do like it. Again, you know, it's just a really good brand. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Lorac is cruelty-free and everything as well, too. So, if you're looking for another cruelty-free brand, this is a really good one. Um, but it was just one that fell in my lap, and I just really fell in love with it. Um, one of my um, top favorites of all time is the is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. This is my top mascara. So, we're down to the top three mascaras for me that I really love that I fell in love with this year. This one is one has, one end has your volume and one end has your length. So, you have length on one, um, volume on the other. It's a two double-ended kind of mascara. It's really super, super beautiful, and you can build and build and build, and it just makes them thick and lush, and they make they, they look almost fake when you put it on. Stays on all day, won't flake, won't smudge, or don't me. Such a good mascara, and she has a waterproof topper now that you can actually put over top of it to waterproof it. She's got, it's like a clear, and you put it over top of your mascara to, to waterproof it. So, it's a really good mascara. So, if you're looking for something for volume and the length, definitely check this out. Now, if you're only going to use for one, it's not worth it. Um, but if you like a thicker, fuller, out there kind of a mascara, I love a good mascara. So, this is just a really, really good one. Um... The next one is the Dior. It's this is the pump and pump and the pump and volume mascara. So with this mascara, the only it, it will grab. The, so this is what the brush looks like. 
It's very wet. You gotta be careful with it. It is very wet. It's very black. Um, it's really good. So what you're supposed to do is if you want to add more mascara, you're supposed to pump it on the bottom of it and it fills the lash. You don't need to do that much because if you said do this, it's going to, oh my God, it's going to be so coated. It's not even going to be funny. Um, but it gives the most thick, thick volume lash. It is so good. Um, and it's pretty water resistant. It stays up pretty well. Um, it's not super like some of the other ones, but if you want a black black and you want something that's going to last, it's going to look really long and thick and really like that dramatic mascara, this one is definitely worth it. Like this is kind of similar to their blackout, um, but to me, this one gives even more, more drama than the blackout does. So I really have enjoyed this one too. And this was another find that um, I wasn't planning on getting either, but I really have really enjoyed. And then last but not least is my most current favorite. This is the Eyes to Kill by Giorgio Romani Mascara. And it's a lengthening mascara. But let me tell you something. It does more than lengthen, though. It lengthens and it thickens and it's so beautifully black. It's so gorgeous. Again, another L'Oreal company. So another one. So you know they have the mascaras down. Um, such a good mascara. Amazing volume. Beautiful length. It stays on really well. Once it dries down, it's a little wet when you first put it on. Very buildable. You can build it over and over and over again to get what you want. I actually have it on today. I have it on the top and the bottom. Absolutely love it. Absolutely beautiful ma uh, mascara. I recommend this one really, really highly. It's a really amazing mascara. I've Again, I've tried so many amazing ones this, this year. I can't tell you. So, there's so many that are good. Um, you know, but if you're looking for good mascara, this is a definite winner. And they do have this in a waterproof too. Um, you know, but I don't think any problem with the regular staying on. But if you've got very watery eyes, you might want to try the waterproof. But it is a really super good mascara. But again, it's more of that volume. It focuses more on the volume than the length. Even though it says it's lengthening, I feel like you get more volume out of it. So, with that said, we are done with the end of this series. And we have one more to go. And we will be done. So I'm so excited. So I'm so glad that you've stuck around this long. If you have, you know, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And so anyway, take care, guys. You know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, and, you know, love yourself. And remember to be kind to others because a little kindness can go off a long way. And also make sure you reach out to somebody today and just tell them that you love them, that you care about them. You know, just let them know, um, you know, because life is too short. And, you know, sometimes it's just nice to let people know that. So, you know, you just, it's just nice to know. And, um, you know, after that, I will see you guys in the next episode. So thank you so much. And we will see you again soon. Bye.